So the eighth cranial nerve is going to also go through this internal acoustic meatus and it's very easy because all of its apparatus lives within the rock, within the petrous part of the temporal bone. So it will go in there and remember the eighth cranial nerve does two things. It's, got, it's called the vestibular cochlea because it has one part, if we look at the slide, which is to do with the vestibular system, and that's going to go to my semicircular canals, and you can see they're all located at 90 degrees to each other. So this is part of my spirit levels, which are in my head. Okay, so there's fluid in there, and depending on which way I hold my head, I can tell with my eyes closed roughly where my head is with relation to the horizon because of this spirit level. So that's vestibular, that's to do balance. Then I've got this part of my ear, which is a snail, and the snail is cochlear, okay? And that's to do with hearing. And remember, in these fluid canals, they're all full of tiny hairs, which are wafting away in there, and when the fluid shifts, these hairs get um, bent or waved about, and as they get waved about, they stimulate or generate action potentials, and these action potentials then fire off signals down this eighth cranial nerve to the brain. So that's vestibular cochlea, and that's my hearing there. So I hear something, la, in it comes, it hits my tympanic membrane, la, onto the hammer, that's the malleus, onto the anvil, which is the incus, onto the stirrup, like a horse's stirrup there, this is the stay piece, and then onto that oval window, la. Then we're now moving from air to solid object, and now on the other side of the oval window, fluid. Fluid comes round, pushes all these hair cells, which are sitting there, and they get waved about, like a wave coming in from the seashore, and an action potential off to the brain. And that's hearing in a nutshell.